everybody. Welcome to Laxmi and Trends. The look of this week is inspired in the fall collection of some of the most known designers like Christian Dior and Valentino who had incorporated this garment to their collection of this 2012. For those that follow my blog, I also wrote an article about this and I give you some options where to get this jumpsuit like Bibi who came out with beautiful styles, nasty gal and juicy couture as well. I decided to wear this royal blue jumpsuit and a satin material from BB, but this one I got like three years ago. And I paired it with the zebra shoes from Victoria's Secret, which also I got a while back. I felt that the zebra will go perfect with the royal blue to create a statement. I also follow one of the BB advices about wearing a statement necklace with one of these jumpsuits. And I think it came out beautiful. I am wearing this um, very dramatic and colorful necklace from Monbrief Jewelry with the matching bracelet and the earrings. Um, another option for this look will be wearing a blazer like this one in a black color from New York and Company. And what I did was I pushed the sleeves up and I also added this zebra skinny belt from New York and Company as well. This is optional, but it's perfect for this season. You know, we have some cold days, so the blazer will be a great option. This is more of an elegant and sophisticated look. So right away, let's move on to the tutorial part for the makeup. There, I'm going to show you how I created this very dramatic and beautiful makeup, especially the eyes. And I also incorporated the color block trend for the lips, so don't miss that. Uh, any questions? Uh, don't forget to go into my blog, LaxMeInTrends.com. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to work with the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And I'm going to use three colors. I'm going to work with Buck, which is this color right here. I'm also going to work with this dark shiny brown it's called smog which is this one right here and the first one all the way over here the virgin color first we're going to start working with the buck color and i'm going to apply that color right here um a little bit up from the crease like from right here all the way down we're gonna cover this area up to I would say up to here Now I'm going to apply the virgin color, which is this, this one right here, the first one. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply it right here by the um, outer corner of the eye, like right next to the buck color. And what I did was I created like a thick line with the virgin color. It looks like almost white. So now let's move on to the smug color, which is the shiny dark brown color right here. And that one, I'm going to use this tiny brush, which is a, an eyeliner brush that I got from Sephora. And that color, we'll, uh, we're going to apply it right under, right here. We're going to extend it all the way up, right next to the virgin color. As you can see, it's a very simple technique, really easy to recreate, um, but at the same time, 
that's a little dramatic which is perfect so now that we are done with the eyeshadows we're gonna move on to the mascaras and we're gonna use this three I'm going to use this double X Pro from Maybelline um, only the first step is like a white cream and that's to make your eyelashes look longer so we're gonna apply I'm gonna apply it only on the top and then second I'm gonna apply this Urban Decay it's called Big Fatty mascara I got a deal today from Sephora and last we're gonna use my regular Maybelline the falsies Now that we got the eyes done, I'm going to proceed to apply the blush and I'm going to use this Bobbi Brown bronzer, um, it's called Brownie and I'm just going to apply a little bit up and down. And the lipsticks that I'm going to wear today are two. I'm going to wear this Sephora purple lipstick. Um, it's called Crush number R23. It's like a very deep purple. And also on top, I'm going to use again the color blocking trend. That's the technique where you apply another lipstick on top of the first one. Um, and I'm going to use this MAC color. It's a peach color called Cream Sheen and it's number 842 so this color I'm gonna apply only in the center of the mouth and to finish with my makeup my usual studio fix compact powder from MAC For this look, I decided to leave my hair straight, so what I did was I blow dried it, used a flat iron, and then I split it in the middle, leaving it loose. Regarding the accessories, as you can see, I am wearing this dramatic and very colorful necklace. It's from Ma Reef Jewelry. For those interested, you can contact me. Um, it also brings the matching bracelet and the set of earrings. And I also decided to wear these two plain rings from Forever 21. So uh, just a little note, if you are wearing a statement necklace like this and with the matching bracelet like that, you don't need extra accessories. So that's why I picked these two plain uh, rings. And just to finish, um, just forgot to mention the nail color that I picked for this look. It's like a very dark cherry color. I would say it's from Orly and it's called Terra Mauve. It's number 074. So I cover everything for the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. This is Steel of the Week number 51. I'll see you next week with my upcoming video. Bye now.